But I think that, you know, if, if you really want to understand and you really want to make a positive difference, throw away the rose-colored glasses, throw away all of the preconceived notions, throw away the separating the world into good and bad and, and, and wrong versus righteous. That is not how the real world works. And make an effort to really understand all the different information, facts, and science behind um, a lot of these things. I can't tell you how many well-meaning individuals and global initiatives that have been started in the West that have swooped into the global South, advised everyone that they're doing everything wrong, and now let us show you how to do it right, um, which on the face of it, right off the bat, is offensive. I think that's excellent advice. And honestly, you know, I think I've been in the sector now for eight, nine years, and I'm still constantly changing my mind. Something I found challenging as well, I've also worked for NGOs, and something I found challenging there is this assumption that just because you work for a foundation or just because you focus particularly on the environmental, that you're already doing a good job. And it's like, oh, I'm an environmentalist, so I'm a good person. It's like, no, you still need to be diligent about what mm -hmm. you do and respect yeah. people that you're trying yes. to work with, even though you may not agree with them or you're trying to improve whatever output they're putting out there in the environment, you still need to respect people.